Why did you decide now was the right time? Uh, we're delivering into a huge unmet need, Emily. Um, we founded this company almost a decade ago. And so we've been growing this new type of medicine class. We've had to invent a lot of it. Um, and the need that we started the company on, which is people dealing with cognitive issues, mental health issues, and not having a full, complete set of treatments for them, um, that has gotten worse over COVID, dramatically worse. And so we see a pretty urgent need. And we're at the point of the business where we know we can scale our medicine product. We have done the work to show that the fundamentals are there. Doctors are prescribing. Uh, patients are raising their hand and and uh, the demand is there. And so it's just the right time for us to deliver on our long-term vision. For us, this is a long-term story of building a lasting medicine company. It's not um, a single point in time. Um, and so now is now is the time to grow. The investor Chamath Palihapitiya is backing your company. And of course, he's been, you know, he's got a number of SPACs, a number of them not doing so well. Achilles shares didn't do so well uh, today uh, after the open. What kind of advice have you had from Chamath about, you know, why SPAC, why he still believes in uh, the SPAC process, and why go for it now? Sure. Yeah, I think, well, first of all, today was a crazy volatile day across the market. Um, and so luckily, we're not looking for any one day in particular to see market movements in a direction. Um, we do think the Achilles story resonates uh, with a lot of investors. And so um, there are going to be volatile days across the market. Uh, from my perspective, uh, I'm looking for a vehicle to be able to grow a big and lasting company. And the beauty of a SPAC um, it, to the, in today's market, even especially, is the amount of capital, the quantum of capital, if you structure it right. And so we were fortunate enough to learn from what happened in the previous uh, SPAC market and actually structure a deal that brought in $164 million um, in the deal, e independent of the redemption profile. Um, so we were able to see that. But the other beauty of a SPAC is getting to partner with people that know how to grow large disruptive businesses in the long term. And I think that's what um, Chamath brings to the table. And he's joining as our chair of our board to be deeply and heavily involved as we grow this business. Now, you have a deep background in drug design and mole molecular biology, and it is absolutely fascinating. Right. You, you know, you've been on the show before talking about how, you know, you believe your video game can help uh, treat uh, and, and alleviate some of the most difficult symptoms of ADHD. There are skeptics out there who, who don't believe this can possibly work, who think that or worry that this could make, uh, putting kids in front of a video game could make their disease potentially worse. How do you respond to that? Yeah, I, I totally agree with the skepticism. I, I accept it and I think it's good. I have three boys myself and I'm very, very, um, uh, I take screen time very seriously, and I'm actually pretty restrictive when it comes to screen time. Um, the problem is that most screen time is not developed for good. Most screen time is developed to capture eyeballs and capture your attention in a way that's not actually aligned with your mental health. And so we're seeing a mental health crisis. We're seeing social media and the effect it has on children. That's exactly why we spent nearly a decade running clinical trials, generating the clinical evidence all the way through to an FDA clearance and now having doctors prescribe the product so that we know, meaning we the medical system, but also we patients, families can trust it. So it is now the only FDA approved uh, treatment that is uh, delivered through a video game. And so it's the only video game that has the level of clinical evidence we have. Um, it's now been prescribed in our pre-launch phase here by doctors in all 50 states in the country. Um, so we believe the investment we've made is is bearing itself out. And, and so the medical system and, and families can trust what they're getting and they can look at all our data that we've run in clinical trials. That's, I think, the right way to bring screen time to the world that's actually positive. You've talked about the mental health crisis as well. How else do you see Achilles technology potentially being used in the future as this idea and, you know, potentially the realities of digital medicine take shape. Yeah, the beauty of this is when you develop a technology that's meant to target brain regions and not a diagnostic disorder, it's meant to target how the brain operates, which is what our technology does, it has the ability to be a platform across disease. And so that's exactly what we've invested in. We're looking to not only launch our product Endeavor RX for children with ADHD and scale that to a ubiquitous medicine in any household that needs it. We have clinical data showing that the same underlying technology has the potential to treat cognitive issues in adults with depression, adults with MS, children and adolescents with autism. 
So this is a really broad platform potential. And I think it's the beauty of a new modality of medicine. This has been totally untapped. Molecular medicine, the area I come from, um, where I did my graduate work, um, has been around. It's made great progress, but it's very saturated. The area we're going into has been relatively unexploited um, from, a, from a scientific basis. So I think there's a huge potential. But the other thing I'm really excited about is with software as medicine, you can actually deliver an experience and cater to patients in a way they haven't been delivered to before. As we know, taking medicine is often scary. It's not the most fun. Uh, we can change that with digital medicine. And do you imagine it, your technology being used with um, prescri other prescription, you know, real, I don't want to say real, uh, but you know what I mean, medication, for example, medication. play the game and you take your Ritalin, et cetera? Uh, interestingly, it can be both. It's meant to be part of a total treatment package. So whatever the patient is getting, what, however they're treated, it's not meant to take them off everything they're using. It's meant to add to it. Um, but we've purposefully generated data and, and in our FDA package, data showing that this product works as a, as a treatment combination when used with medication, but also in patients who are not using medication. So okay. it's flexible. It's really its own pillar and docs can choose when and how to use it with their patients. Quickly, what's behind the name Achille? What does that mean? Ah, Achille, it's very interesting. Um, so it actually means brain or intellect, um, but with a positive, a healthy connotation. It's a Swahili word. Um, so we, we've kept it since our very early startup days.